You're teaching a client with Graves' disease. Which of these statements indicates effective teaching? The first thing I want you to do is think about what's going on in your client's body when they have Graves' disease. Graves' disease is a form of hyperthyroidism, right? So that means that we're turning the thermostat up in the body in terms of their metabolism, right? They've got a lot of thyroid hormone. So their metabolism is high, they're burning a lot of calories, they have heat intolerance. So think about the types of activities they would wanna do, they would wanna avoid, what would be happening with their vital signs. Keep that in mind and read these statements. Would we be worried about their pulse going low? Nah, we'd be worried about tachycardia, so A is wrong, not bradycardia. Now B, should they be adding hot yoga to their routine? I'm worried about heat intolerance. No, B does not indicate effective understanding. What about C, should they be increasing fiber in their diet? Not really, their GI tract is already moving and grooving. Things are rumbling through there pretty fine. But D, now this tells me they understand my teaching. They're at risk for hypertension. So I do want them to report if their blood pressure is above 140. If this helped you, head over to archerview.com where we have thousands of NCLEX questions and rationales ready to go. See you there.